and I have incredibly muddy legs today. They just mud's just caked on. Okay, so it is about to be a torrential downpour. Right now the trail is walking through a town, lots of town walks lately, which is so nice. It is thundering and lightning, and I am about to get run over by this car. But um, it is a half mile walk to a place that allows tenting. So yeah, trying to walk quickly. Oh wow, an ambulance just picked us up. They did a U-turn for us because that storm looks nasty. I've never been in an ambulance before, but I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. So I just took off my wet, nasty socks that man put on again in the morning. My feet are not too swollen today, but I am just filthy, and this is after I tried to clean up. It's lightning pretty badly, tenting, and hoping for the best <laughs> that it's not too wet and everything one of our last summits in massachusetts before we leave and head into vermont so it's a rocky steep summit but excited to hit the i think 12th state on the at okay just left massachusetts over there and about to walk into vermont celebrating this milestone with some leftover pizza Wow, this is a massive rock. I can't even fit the whole thing in the frame. But it's just a really, really, really big rock. And so far, there's been quite a bit of mud in Vermont. This is true friendship. Splits carrying Stoops pack so he can slack. Wow, so this is a pond in Vermont, in Vermont. The stretch I'm in is called the Green Mountains, and you can already see the train starting to change. This trees, it's pretty. Okay, oh, so we're I trying to pass it. over this board, yeah, but we keep running hurt. into snakes like a boardwalk. This is our third snake. That doesn't look like a garden so snake, though. We might no. be amidst a snake den. Snake den, I mean. That's so there's matter. four of us, so, and we don't really know how we're gonna pass. The ones that are poised look like. Hair. But. On my list of things to do today was not to walk on skinny boards amidst a snake den, so hopefully we work this out. And we are in another pond bog. It's very lovely. If I can get past you somehow, you want to step on that. See how there's like this crossing? A little ledge. And we've decided we're going to walk past the snake. Oh, there's another one? There's a fourth? Go, though. I don't see it here anymore. Yeah, they're not gonna do anything except run away. All right, here. Okay, here we go. Oh, no snakes. Well, we saw four snakes, but no one was bit, so mission complete, and it was a success. <laughs> Okay, so we're headed back to the trail after like the best time in town resupplying and hanging out with Bubba's fantastic family. So we are packing in a lot of people in this car. <laughs> Nine people to be exact and just as many packs. This is Split Rock. And I guess you can see how it got its name. <laughs> it's nice and wide, so it's an easy pass through. Heading into Glastonbury Wilderness in the Green Mountain National Forest. And according to my guidebook, um, this wilderness is the second most remote one right after the 100 watt mile wilderness in Maine. Oh my goodness, y'all, I just met up with Fresh again, who I haven't seen since Franklin, North Carolina. So this is super exciting, and she's still going by the trail name. I am. Yeah, Fresh. And if you remember, she's who gave me trail karma back in. <laughs> Where was that? Uh, Bly, Bly Gap? Bly Gap. Right before Bly. Yes, yeah, so this is a really fun reunion. Yeah. <laughs> well, y'all, I just climbed up a really high, scary fire tower, but so worth it. This is Glattonsbury Fire Tower because this is the most gorgeous view. Wow, it's just gorgeous. There's all those alpine trees and mountains for days, and this is just 
total 360 degree view. Wow. So yeah, these are some big mountains again. Gorgeous. <laughs> it's so high up. Eating a delicious dinner <laughs> with a gorgeous view at a shelter. And there's a big group here we're playing 20 questions. And that guy over there has asked the hardest question. Can't figure it out. Okay, so after about 45, or not 45, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes, we got it. It was Dave Matthews Band. Okay, really pretty start to the morning. There's this rock face with water just dripping down off it and the green this kind of mud i like to walk through because it's just kind of like soft and squishy and it's not super wet so it just feels good on your feet but there's other mud that i do not like and this is a muddy 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 section So getting ready to climb Stratton Mountain, which looks like it's going to be a beast. And my shoes are so muddy. I can't imagine what my feet are going to look like tonight. Okay, so climbing Stratton Mountain, which is a really big climb. It's, I think, like close to 2,000 feet. And it's over 3.3 miles. So it's just a long, long climb. But um, really thirsty because I decided not to carry water to try to save some weight. And there's water at the top, but I'm so parched and just found water, so I'm happy. So it's coming out really slow. It's just a trickle coming off of this. I don't know, rusty thing with rocks on it. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's a very, very slow trickle, but it's coming out. It was better than I thought it was going to be. Okay, made it to the top of Stratton, Mount, Stratton Mountain, something like that, and I'm sitting at the base of the fire tower eating lunch, so I made a little turkey and cheese sub, and I'm eating potato chips with it. Okay, just climbed to the top of another tower. It was super high, scary climb, but I think it was worth it. It started getting cold, but you're supposed to be able to see four states from here. It's wild, and I'm about to like climb out of this little trap door thing. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all a video from right here. It's really windy and super cold, but the view is gorgeous. I don't know which state is which because they say you can see into four states, so. Sorry, I'm lacking in that knowledge, but very pretty. Wow, the trail runs right into this gorgeous lake. It looks so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm finishing up a 23 mile day. I'm headed to this cool shelter that I'm, it's like a cabin that I'm gonna stay at. And it was a good day. My feet definitely hurt. These shoes are done but they're so muddy that I think I'm gonna wait till I get through Vermont to get new shoes. That way I'll have new clean shoes to get me into the whites and get me through the whites. And that'll be my last pair of shoes um, before I reach Katahdin. So that's very exciting. But these ones are causing me a lot of grief, but I should only be in Vermont for like five more days. So I think I can tough out five days of bad shoes, hopefully. Yes, this is the sign for Spruce Peak Shelter. And I'm so excited to get here. It's a 0.1 miles off trail. And this was 23 mile day and it felt like a long 23 miles. I'm pretty worn out. So this shelter is really great. It had a fantastic piped spring and then it also has this little stream. And I'm gonna try to wash off my shoes and wring out my socks. That way they're not too bad in the morning. Okay, so after lots and lots of foot problems, my feet are looking really good they still hurt because they still have the inflamed arches but they look so much better and no blisters okay so my feet decided that i just couldn't wait any longer on shoes so i hitched a ride into manchester uh vermont and i am walking now to the outfitter i'm gonna see if i can't get some new shoes and new socks maybe even insoles i might go wild <laughs> Oh wow, check this sign out guys. 538 miles to Mount Katahdin. What, what? Okay, so I'm at the Mountain Go Outfitter and I'm really excited. I just got new shoes. So I switched over to Solomon's and I got like a more um, powerful insole so it's even thicker. And I'm excited to try that. Uh, he said that my feet do look really bad and it's probably gonna take six months for them to recover after I get off trail. So I have that to look forward to. 
Okay, so my old insoles, my old shoes, and my old pair of socks going in the dumpster. They smelled so bad. And now I'm walking out in new shoes, new insoles, an old pair of socks, but they're clean. So I'm excited to see how I like these Solomons. He was um, a foot guy. He really knew what he was doing. And he shaved my insoles down some. So he said that that might help cut back on pressure. So I'm hoping that it does. He said my feet are pretty... Uh, inflamed so I might be kind of sore and in pain now that I'm in new shoes with more structure but overall it'll be good for the whites so they feel so much better already okay and we are hitching trying to get back out of town getting out of town is always harder than getting in town yeah not a lot of takers okay so look at how new and nice and clean they are let's hope they stay that way I just got back on trail and I am now Team Solomon. So Solomon's are one of the most popular shoes on trail and I'm excited to see if I like them as much as everyone else does. I definitely still love Sacconi and will wear them in the future, but I just wanted to change things up a bit for the whites.